to be young ministry.blogspot.com to another podcast to another blog out of the book of Galatians tonight we're in chapter 4 verses 21 through 23 which reads tell me you who want to be under the law are you not aware of what the law says for it is written that Abraham had two sons one by the slave woman and the other by the free woman His son by the slave woman was born according to the flesh, but his son by the free woman was born as a result, as the result of a divine promise. Again, that's Galatians 4, 21 through 23. Abraham had two sons, one by Hagar, his wife's handmaiden, and the other by Sarah, Abraham's wife. The Apostle Paul juxtapositions these two sons in order to make his point, the broader point that he's making in the book. In fact, in the rest of the book, he will drill down into these two opposing ideas. Hagar's son, Ishmael, represents bondage to the flesh. And uh, the flesh is the evil desires that are within us still, even though we're born again. The son born to Sarah, Isaac, represents freedom to walk in the Spirit. There's a clear choice throughout Scripture between slavery to the flesh and freedom in the Spirit. In Galatians 4.23, we learn slavery to the flesh is the result of mankind's rejection of God's definitions of life. Freedom, on the other hand, is the result of yielding to God's definitions of for our lives. In the Old Testament narrative, there came a time when Sarah and Abraham temporarily stopped believing that God would keep his promise, and they determined to have a son so that Abraham could bring about the promise of God. I believe their their idea to perpetuate the promise was accurate, but God didn't tell them to do this. Abraham mated with his wife's slave woman, Hagar, and they had a son. It seemed to be a sacrificial choice on Sarah's part, but it led to slavery for many. Her her son was not the son who would inherit the promise of God, Ishmael. The son that did inherit the promise was Isaac. These two entities, the flesh and the spirit, are and will always be at odds with each other. This will be a large part of our discussion in the last two chapters of Galatians. One thing is for sure, the one I feed the most is the one that will win on a given day. Perhaps you remember the movie Remember the Titans, Herman Boone, played by Denzel Washington, makes his renowned speech to his players while in Gettysburg. The speech is riveting. It illustrates the utter necessity of fighting on the right side. Boone was making the point of fighting on the right side of the team. And it illustrates, in order to fight on the right side for us as believers in Christ, We must feed the Spirit, who has made our spirits alive to God. As Paul will tell us a little later in Galatians, when we feed the flesh, it will destroy us. And when we feed the Spirit, we will experience life with the touch of eternity on it. We'll talk more about this in the days days to come, the difference between feeding the flesh, feeding the spirit, and what it looks like. My friend, I trust these podcasts are helpful to you and your walk with the Lord. Should I be in a position to be of help to you, you can email me at beyoungministry at gmail.com. Hey, have a great day.